everyone, I'm in central Wisconsin today and as you can see there is some awesome terrain up here. It is very steep and very sandy so that's why I brought the Rift because it tends to excel in these conditions. The extra wheel speed and bigger tires compared to a typical trail truck helps dig in and get you up to more places so let's get started. I probably should have done some leaf blowing but really just wanted to drive so maybe do that next time. Still should have some good lines out here. Including this one, sandy climb up to this rock. Try to get turn and set up for a bit of a double step here. It's a pretty tricky one. You want to make sure you're pretty close to the edge here for maximum drive. Hopefully get some pop up to that second one. Turn on the route. Very nice. Surprised how well that works, really. Another climb here, so if I can just turn and burn, yep, sweet. Okay, there's a bit of a double drop here, so I just changed the mode where I have normal brakes. Hopefully I can control this one nice and slow, and then pop off that one. Oh man, not so smooth. Try that again. Gotta get back up there though. Look at that. Oh, hung. A little more speed, better line, and I'm up. Try that again here. Well, nose down, but still got it pretty good. Okay, I just clicked it into second gear to see if I can control that drop a little better. Keep the front wheel up and I flip. See if I can get it this time. Went a little for, oh man. I was trying to catch a little more downside, but it gets a little wild there. Last try here. Oh, wicked bounce. Second last try here. Oh, just getting too much rebound there. And final last try maybe. Oh, look at that. Nice and smooth. Landed front tires first, and that really helped calm down the bounce on the landing. So that little demonstration showed one reason why I like two-speed so much. You have that option for more power, get the front tires up in the air for jumps and drops, but you have more control over crawling speed and still have some power on the way up. Do stuff like that. This is first gear again, and a nice slow crawl speed. But the biggest reason is actually run time. I get so much more runtime when I'm using mostly first gear. Stock setup just has second gear, and that burns through batteries quick. Here is a very large, loose hill, very sandy. Let's see if I can make it today. It worked yesterday, but it was a workout. Start from the bottom there and try to keep it moving if I can, but I can't quite keep up with it, so pause out and hopefully be able to get moving again. Now you can see that sand really playing a factor. A little skinny line here to try to nail between these. You hit too much on either side. Kind of kicks you up into a wheelie. That was just about right, but lost my momentum. Had to find it again. Get up this next one and now I'm going all the way back down. Now, can you tell it's a hill? There we go. Hung a little further left, and that helped. Now there's some more rocks to try to wiggle just right through. That was nice. And it gets really steep right here. You either need some good speed or good power, or a combo of both. It's getting hard to even follow it because it's so steep to walk up. A little outside there, went around that rock, but Still in bounds, I would say. Oh, right on the edge with that one. Oh no. No! This is proving to be difficult. Okay, back to where I was once again. There, that was nice and smooth. Maybe this gives a better idea of how much of a climb that really was. Now to find a good way down. It's always fun, hopefully less crashing than the last down but we'll find out. A lot of sticks could be picked up. Would be a lot nicer, but again, just wanted to drive instead of work, I guess. Oh, here's a steep one. Let's see if it can manage this roll. Oh, almost. There's a roll for you. Wow. I think I'm going to aim further left this time. Hopefully let that tree stop me. Perfect. And yet another wicked climb here. Oh, 
try to use that root to my advantage maybe. I got up this somehow yesterday. It looks pretty darn difficult though. Maybe I can come over here first and then slide into the root. I don't know. I like to try everything in first gear at first and see if I really need second. So I'll give this a few shots before I bump up the speed. There is not it. Okay, it definitely feels like I have to get over to that root one way or another. That is not the way. There we go, there's some progress. Sometimes it's just a little bit at a time until you figure out the good line. That wasn't it. Oh, there we're going, we're going. Need to find some traction now, lean into the root a bit and try to, wow, that was sweet. Just crept its way right up there once I got past that first bit. First gear does the trick. There's a bit of a traverse here. Nice side hill action before start climbing again. Another thing that the two speed really helps with is heat. Keeps the motor running cooler. If you're in second gear all the time, electronics heat up a lot more since you're really working it hard. Even if you gear it down, still not anywhere near as much geared down as if you put the two speed in for that first gear. Extra sandy up this one. But we're moving. This is a tricky one. You kind of got to get far enough up and then hook left. Wow, that worked really well. That was sweet. And a bit of a step. No problem there. This one's a little too big. The downside of the two speed is it's a bit tricky to set up and get the servo working and all that. I definitely burned through one or two before I got it working well. Oh, it also has more slop between the gears. Second gear is more noticeable but there's a bit more play than I would like. Down again. Try to go extra wide and then, nope. Thought that was it. There we go, finally. That one was quite the tricky move, but it worked. Now some more super side hill in here. Definitely don't want to go tumbling. So, go nice and smooth. Make sure you're hooking up well enough. Switch back up. Oh, I'm off the groove there. Now I held on to it. If I didn't make this one yesterday, I probably wouldn't even try it because it doesn't really look like it should work, but I'll give it another go, see what happens today. I know you won't be able to tell, but the angle I'm dealing with is quite aggressive. Up through that pretty nicely. Now right here, I just don't even really remember how I made it work, but I guess I'll try to go from here. Oh no, not like that. I was hoping to be able to shoot to the left from here. Oh, almost close, kinda. Maybe I can just crawl over this one? I don't know. Try to slide, work my way to the side, and maybe that's looking, oh, so close. Okay, I'm pretty close here. I just need that right rear to do something that does not cause me to roll. Oh, the slide is good, there we go. All right, not clean, but I'll take it. Now we get a nice, fun, long descent. Also very steep and the line's pretty skinny. So you gotta watch your tire placement as well as your foot placement because you could be going for a ride in the RC or with your body <laughs> if you're not careful. So should be safe now, but I just love driving and riding bikes in that spot. Definitely pretty unique. And a lot of fun. Nice log drop here. Got to control the speed though because there's a huge rock roll to hit now. I did just bump it into second gear, mainly for this one coming up. I can hardly keep 
the RC from rolling off the edge here, but this is a big one. I'll go to the bottom. Of course, it's not going to look like much, but it's huge. Oh, wow, did it really smooth. That was sweet. That was surprising. That thing is very tall and very steep. Well, that was a blast. Hopefully you guys enjoyed coming along for a quick run with the Rift. If you want to see more videos on it or have any questions about it, be sure to let me know in the comments below. For now, I'm gonna go drive some more.